everyone, my name is Ashley. Today I am going to walk you through how I made this beautiful black, white, and gold geode inside a mold that I got from Amazon. If y'all need some great molds, check out my Amazon affiliate link in the description box below because that's where I get the majority of my molds and I love them. But of course there are also some awesome ones that I've done reviews on from Etsy sellers. So check everywhere, make sure you find the mold that fits your style and let's get to it. I started by mixing all of my pigments into my resin as well as keeping some clear resin aside that I dumped a glitter mix that I had made. It's got black rocks, gold rocks, and a few different sizes of gold glitter. So I put all of that together and I'm gonna start out by going around the middle of each of these molds with that glitter mix and then I will start layering from there. I also decided to use the gold in the handle mold and I just wanted to see how this would work out with a normal resin without a casting resin and honestly it does not work out well at all. So unless you're using a casting resin, I would not cast inside these handles. When I'm laying my white in, I varied it up just a little bit on my coasters. So I did two coasters just like I did the tray. And then the other two coasters, I just kept the white on two corners instead of all four corners. I like to have some type of variation with my coasters. I think it's a lot of fun when they're not all the same. And so that's what I was going for here. Thank you. 
Now that I'm done layering my colors, I am going to come in with just clear epoxy. I'm using this to help push out my other color, my white on the outside, and to push in the black a little bit more. And then I'm just going to blend the two colors together. In order to do this, I just use a toothpick or a popsicle stick. Now, you want to keep in mind, you don't want to actually scrape the bottom with this stick, otherwise you will leave marks in your silicone mold. And if you plan on using that backside, that's gonna always be printed on your image. But if you don't use the backside, like me, I'm not gonna use the backside. I don't mind scraping it along the bottom to make sure that that design goes all the way through. Um, but I just wanted to make sure to give you guys that little warning so that way you know what happens if you are gonna be utilizing this method. And the design is really that simple. Everything moves over time a little bit and I didn't wanna add any more clear epoxy in here. Otherwise it would have moved it too much. So what I did is I waited for all of this to cure. I kind of fixed up some of my black on the inside middle to where it really went up close to the rocks instead of seeing a little bit through there. And then I waited for all of that to cure and then I did just a clear layer right on top. So that way it had a nice smooth glass-like finish up top and you wouldn't be able to feel those rocks. There were a couple rocks that did stick up though, but it wasn't enough to really worry. And I tried to set a whole bunch of different types of glasses and cups on my coasters and having a few of those rocks stick up didn't make a difference. And that's it. Let me know what you think of this project. I did put little rubber feet on the back of these coasters so that way they don't scratch up the table and cork just did not look good. <laughs> Otherwise I could have just cut some cork squares and have done it that way. I currently have my Etsy on pause because I am trying out a local retailer to sell a bunch of my things. So if you're interested in purchasing anything of mine, just send me a direct message and I will hook you up. Have a great day, everyone.